Hello world, it is Tuesday, February 28th, the last day of February, and it also happens to be my dog Baloo's birthday. He's four years old today. Uh, looking out the window at the vines, it's kind of an overcast day right today, and I think it's going to stay kind of that way, maybe some sunshine in the afternoon, um, and season will be warm again with uh, highs, in, I think, in the low 50s today. The devotion for today is entitled Against Self-Sufficiency. And it's written by Quinn Caldwell. Quinn bases the devotion upon 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 18-19, through New Revised Standard Version. The unrighteous entice people who have just escaped from those who live in error. They promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption. Excuse me. And then Quinn writes, So much public discourse and a great deal of private thinking assumes that everybody's current state is the result of their choices. Failure or success is a matter of personal morality, or so go the arguments of the self-sufficient and the moralistic. Christianity becomes little more than a useless public health campaign. Just say no. But anyone who's spent any real time with issues knows that personal morality is a surprisingly small part of how we end up where we end up. Second Peter's screed is weird, but it recognizes something important. Those around us play a major role in our outcomes. What the community offers in terms of not just temptations, but options. What latitude it allows not just for sin, but for righteousness. How much hope it gives to whom, and what it does to those who act out of hopelessness. A strong work ethic is great, but it can only do so much if no one will hire you because of the name on your resume. Dressing a certain way is fine, I guess, but it won't help if the problem is actually other people's notions and desires and not your clothes. Self-care may be important, but it won't do much if your community doesn't care about you, too. <clears throat> Just saying no isn't going to work if nobody's offered you that option. Second Peter's screed is weird, but it gets one thing right. I have a role to play in your salvation and you in mine. In Quinn's prayer, let me be and let me create the community we serve. Amen. Well, a few things this devotion reminds me of. Um, first, we really shouldn't be judging other people uh, on where they are, uh, assuming that they are where they are because of what they haven't done. I think that's what this devotion kind of touches on a little bit, because we never know the circumstances other people are in, um, especially if um, they come from a less privileged background. And yes, many of us do come from a privileged background, whether we want to admit it or not, or whether we see it or not, um, many of us do, and others don't have the same sorts of privileges uh, and opportunities, because opportunities come with privilege. Um, and sometimes it has to do with one's race or one's um, sexual identity, um, one's sense of clothing or ability to, to wear clothes. Um, I know at Defiance College they have a a special closet that they keep business clothes because some of the kids that come to college um, don't know what that is or don't have access to it and what they sh don't really know what they should be wearing on interviews and, and that sort of thing. And it's not any moral failure on their part. It's just not having the same sorts of opportunities and privileges that other people have had. <clears throat> So a lot of other people's success may also depend upon us and upon what we're willing to do to step in to help, uh, to provide direction, to, to recognize our own sense of privilege and give way so others may have the same opportunities that we have had uh, without thinking about it. And they have to think about it. And there's a lot packed into that. But that's part of being, I think, a follower of Christ, is recognizing other people's needs and the privileges that we have and using our privileges for the advantages of others, not for the advantage of ourselves. Maybe that's a lot in that devotion, but I think there's certainly a lot to think about. And Quinn's always really good at making us think, I, I think.
I really enjoy, uh, or I shouldn't, enjoy is probably not the right word, I appreciate his devotions. So I hope you have a good day and hope to talk to you again tomorrow.